Last night, yet again, another fan decided that they wanted to throw an object at an NBA player. This time it was in Boston at Kyrie Irving. A fan threw a bottle. The fan was arrested, and according to reports, he was banned for life from the TD Garden. It's sad, and it pains me to have to sit here and watch that. Uh, knowing it, the, the racist tone and the racist uh, fans that Boston have and throughout their history, and fans are going to try to deny that there is no uh, racism uh, towards players in Boston is completely sickening. Um, and as a proud Celtics fan, it does hurt. It does hurt to see players being treated like that. And there's a lot more to it because in two week spans, we've seen an NBA player get spit at. We've seen an NBA during COVID, mind you, an NBA player gets spit at. We've seen popcorn get thrown at Russell Westbrook. NBA player gets spit at, uh, Trey Young got spit at. Um, and then we also have this bottle incident. There haven't been fans in the league for a year and a half. Almost a year and a half. And I know three fans don't speak on the behalf of every single fan in the NBA. But it's extremely troublesome when you see these certain incidents continue to happen over and over and over again. And it makes you wonder why. And people will sit here and say, well, you know, um, you know, they just get carried away and they take it personal and, you know, Kyrie left ball. That that has nothing to do with basketball. And that has not these, these players are humans. You want to say certain things to players, you want to say, you know, heckle them about basketball. That's well and dandy. But you pay for a ticket, be respectful. Why can't we be respectful? Now I know there's a uh 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 people saying, you know. Fans are saying, well, that's not true. They are respectful or trying to defend. There's nothing to defend when it comes to fans spitting at players, throwing object at players. We all remember the malice in the palace, right? And that hot, then that happened because a fan decided that they wanted to throw something at Ron Artest and he reacted. Now, a player reacts, they're in the wrong. We can't sit here and accept that. And I think the NBA needs to start taking more drastic action against these fans to start setting the tone. And it makes you wonder, too, given the fact that you have uh, black athletes and the majority of the people and the people who are who, who who are doing these things. Are white fans. That's not by coincidence. So what does that tell us in the in the in the social structure that we live in, that it's OK, that 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 white privileged fans believe that they can say and do whatever they want to NBA players. And that's fair. I'm just calling it what it is. And people are going to like it. People are going to hate what I have to say. But it's true. It's white privileged fans who believe that they can say or whatever they want to say because they're paying tickets to come see these players play. And it's okay for them to act like that. And it's extremely not fair. Because not only is it making the other fans who want to be there look bad, it's just setting a tone that's not right. Sit in your seat, watch the game, and go home. That's it. It's simple. You want to cheer and boo on the action? That's absolutely fine. But there's no way, shape, or form that you're talking about players' families. There's no way that you're sitting here saying racial things to players. It's unacceptable, especially after a year and a half of not having fans. Like, come on. In 2021, we're still talking about people throwing things at fans, like, uh, excuse me, throwing things at players. It's unacceptable. We have to do better. We have to do better. Thanks for watching the Sports Hit List. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. In fact, do it now.